Right, hey everybody, I'm John. My name's Nick. And you know, we're just two average guys here, working full-time jobs, but got a love for fitness, big passion for it. And you know, we decided we want to start sharing some stuff with you guys. Um, got a lot of things in store for you. Uh, this is gonna be our first episode. You know, we'd love to have you all follow along with us. I don't know if Nate's got anything to say, but. That's it, man. Let's hit this workout, man. That's it, all right, here we go. Where'd you go? Alright, so today we're going to be hitting a little bit of back. Um, just before we start out with some deadlifts. Now, deadlifts work a variety of muscles. Uh, quite a big, quite a few big muscle groups, specifically the, the quads, you know, when you're standing up. The erector spinae, which is a group of three muscles that runs starting the top of your neck all the way down to the bottom part of your spine. That definitely works on keeping your back straight. So, those ones we're kind of targeting with this. Some people like to throw deads in with a leg day. I prefer to throw them in with a back day. Personal preference, you know, just keep mixing it up. So today we started out with uh, three more warm sets, one on our last one right here. And then we're gonna do three working sets at five reps each. Um, big things with rep sets are, so low reps, anywhere between the four to six range is definitely working on increasing strength. Anything in the uh, eight to 10 range is it's kind of a mix of strength and um, hypertrophy, so increasing muscle size. And then anything about the uh, 12 to 16 range is definitely focused mainly on hypertrophy, so increasing muscle mass and muscle size. Um, so we can go into that in different episodes too, but here we are, start back today. We're going to be doing 365 for a set of five. This is going to be our first of three working sets. Um, you might be wondering why I'm doing this with no shoes on. And the reason for that is I did not bring my flat bottoms or my lifting shoes today. And the reason why that's significant is when you wear just like your work, like Nike running shoes or Adidas shoes, the compression in the shoes actually makes you lose power when you pull up through the ground. That's why you see people lifting in vans, converses, or lifting shoes. Since I don't have those, I'm just going barefoot. It's a better option than running shoes. Um, the grip that I'm going to be using for this set is an alternating grip, which means one is hooked underneath and the other one is a traditional. You're supinated and you're pronated simultaneously at once. The reason I'm doing this is because you get a better strength. If I were trying to do both overhand, I'd maybe get three reps and probably lose my grip. I got pretty weak grip strength. So that's my reasoning for that. And uh, yeah, let's hit it. All right, so Nate just explained his grip. I do a little bit something different. I do something called hook grip. So I'll say just a traditional overhand grip. Instead, this time, I actually tuck my thumb first and then curl my fingers over top of it. Provides a little extra grip for it. It's kind of like using, um, using straps without actually having any straps right now. Um, it's kind of a preference thing. Whatever you can feel you get the most power from, whatever you can grab the most grasp from, and whatever you can just pull the most weight with, by all means go for it. And like Nate said, I actually do have flat bottom shoes on today, so that's why I'm using them. Alright, so for our first movement, we hit the deadlift, and the muscle group that we were hitting with that movement was the erector spinae. And what that is, it's the muscle group going the entire length of the spinal column, and that's what gives you your posture. The second lift that we're going to be hitting is a pull up. We're going to be using a pronated grip. We're going to be going about shorter width apart and just simply pulling ourselves above the chin all the way down. 
and the primary muscle group that's going to be working is our latissimus dorsi. You know, this picture, this diagram that we drew, it's this muscle right here. The top side connects to the humerus, which is the big bone of the arm, and the bottom side, it connects to the spinal column right here, and the muscle actually ends right here. This is the muscle line. So when people really develop the bottom of their latissimus dorsi, it gives them a Christmas tree-like look. And when people walk around and they have that aesthetic V look to them, that wing look to, look to them, it's because they have developed their latissimus dorsi. And that's what we're going to be training today. Um, kind of an interesting thing that you need to know about this is that the, the muscle fibers all flow like this because they're flowing from where they connect to the humerus to the spinal column. So that's how the muscles flow, and that's what we're going to be hitting today. Like I said, you want your arms to be about shorter width apart. A lot of people like to go wide grip, some people like to go narrow grip. With my shoulders, I've had some shoulder issues in the past. Just keep it about shorter width apart. It's important to get the full range of motion, which is all the way up, all the way down. And today we're just going to be doing sets of five. Yeah, so like Nate said, we're working with sets of five here for this. We're actually going to be doing a four by five. And again, you know, kind of like we were doing with deadlifts, it's really, really focused on strength. That's why we're doing those uh, very low reps um, with weight. So I mean, we're both in and out of here all the time. We kind of want to try to keep our strength up. We're not looking to build a ton of muscle mass, but more maintain the strength that we have right now. So that's definitely what our focus is here. So we keep doing the four by five reps. sometimes even advance is to really consciously think about the muscle movements that you're trying to do. So for this one, we're really thinking about moving our arms down to our back. And you can feel that flexion, that movement right here in your lower back. So when you're doing these pull-ups, really concentrate and think about what you're trying to achieve. Like, try to emulate that movement, try to copy it, and actually think about it conscientiously when you're doing it. And it'll definitely improve the reps that you're getting out of it. It'll make them a lot more efficient and feel like they're actually building some muscle in the process. All right, so for our next one, we're going to be doing what we call a neutral grip lat pull down. So lat pull down, lats pull down, except this time instead of keeping our arms in a pronated or uh, outward overhand grip position, we're gonna switch it to a neutral one, so like this. Um, kind of targets a little bit different area of your arms this time. Still targets uh, mainly your lats on this, but we're also adding a little more biceps with this movement. So for this, we're gonna be doing, I think we have down four by 12 for this. So here we go. So for this movement, we're basically going to be doing the same thing, but we're bringing it in a close grip lat pull down from the neutral grip. And what this is going to be doing is still focusing on the lat, but it's just going to be working a different part of the lat. And we're also going to be engaging our biceps a little bit more. As you can see, Nate is just bringing it straight down to his chest with a slight lean back to it, just so he can really 
focus on targeting that back. And for this, we're going to be doing four by ten. So for our last back exercise today, we're going to be working on um, cable rows. And so for this one, we're starting here, neutral grip position again, pulling straight back, working on squeezing our shoulder blades or our scapula together while keeping our, our uh, upper body straight up and down without using it rocking back and forth. And for this one, we're focusing on two muscle groups this time. Again, we're using those, uh, those lats like we talked about earlier, but then we're also going to be using our trapezius or our traps. Um, a lot of people think that shrugs are a really good way to hit that, and that is true. You can definitely use that to hit the upper part of your traps, but then for the lower part, really we're using, working on squeezing those shoulder blades together activates the lower part. All right, so we're going to be finishing off today with the abdominal movement. What we're going to be doing, since we're still hitting our back, we're going to be incorporating a back movement, a supinated close grip pull-up with a static abdominal leg hold. And the reason that we're doing this, the reason that we're doing a static, is what that's doing, it's going to be contracting our abdominal muscles and keeping it contracted for the entire duration of the set. And basically what that does, it's muscle confusion. It's just a way to switch it up. It's still breaking down the fibers in your abs. And what we're going to be doing up top, the close grip, supinated, it's going to be engaging your biceps more than the back. It's just a good way to finish your back then. I saw Nate do, that's a little bit more of an advanced technique. For those of you that can't keep your legs fully straight up the entire time, there are simpler ways to work on building up to that point. So just kind of watch what I'm doing here. This is a little bit more of an intermediate one before you get to Nate's level. So for our next ab exercise, we're just going to be doing some bicycles on your back. Um, we're going to do four rounds of 50. Each single elbow touch counts as one for this. All right, so for the next ab exercise, we're going to be doing what's called a Russian twist. And what this is, is you simply keep your legs elevated. You go from one side to the next and back. And you just do that for 40 reps straight. At least that's what we'll be doing today. Four working sets. And the part of the abs that this is working is simply the, um, the obliques, which is the outside of the abs. Basically, the sides of your torso are your obliques. So for our last ab exercise of the day, um, we're doing one that you know I've seen a couple people do before and we've kind of made it our own. I think it really, really works on targeting those obliques again. These, uh, these are kind of like lat pull downs except you're just using your abs for the most part. So you're just going to start like this, outside arm grabbing onto here, doing a weight that's manageable. And you, I always keep my hand right here just to feel where I'm actually doing the movement. And we're just going to pull down to our opposite uh, leg. So. And normally I would just do about four sets of 10 
on each side. So then when you're done, you just switch to the other side, grab the other arm, and go to the opposite leg. So we'll just do a couple here again so you can see. I keep my arm there just to make sure I'm contracting and flexing at the correct spot. What's up guys, welcome back, Nate and John here. Um, what we're going to be focusing on in today's episode is a get to know John with a small little Q&A, little session. Um, first things first, John, um, tell them about yourself, man, just where you're at in life, uh, how old you are, all that good stuff. Yeah, so uh, my name's John, like Nate said, I'm currently 24, um, still in school, um, trying to be a doctor, but it's kicking my butt right now. Enjoy the gym a heck of a lot more, doing anything but studying. So I'm in my third year of medical school. I got one year left, and then I'll be on to some, some residency program where I'll get some sort of extra training. Tentatively right now, kind of think going down the surgical avenue. Um, I'm not really sure kind of what I want to do in that. Right on. Awesome. Um, so you said that you love fitness. That's your passion. As far as where you're at right now with your fitness goals, where are you at, what are your lifts at, and where do you want them to be for the next year? Oh man, I guess my big goals right now are because I'm kind of swamped with school and all that stuff right now is just consistently getting in the gym. I used to be very, very routine by getting in every single day, you know, getting at least an adequate amount of time to hit everything. But now that now that stuff has picked up in life a little bit more, I'm just not getting in as much as I used to be. So I think my big goals for myself are definitely consistency, getting in there, um, you know, at least three, four times a week, hopefully, and then maintaining the lifts that I have. Um, and I think it's a big thing for our viewers to know too, it's like you don't have to constantly try to gain more muscle or get skinny, like you, you can try to maintain a you know, whole status quo. So that's definitely my goal for the upcoming year, um, when stuff starts picking up for me. Right on, right on. Then as far as like your individual lifts, where are you at right now? As far as numbers? As far as numbers, oh, they've dropped a little bit though, like I was saying. Um, I'm saying my bench right now is probably sitting right around 315. Uh, my deadlifts probably in the 455 region, and my squat's probably right around 405 right now. Um, but tentatively, I mean, depending on what kind of time I have in the upcoming future, I could be planning a bulk. I don't know if I'm going to do a cut yet. Nate wants to do a cut, so we'll have to find out, see who wins, and right. see what we can do in the future. Right on. So obviously, like we said, if you have this passion for fitness, you're very, very into it. What ignited that passion back in the day? Oh, geez. Well, I used to be a cross country runner in high school. Skinny. This um, kid was a twig. Oh, I was a twig, so small. Um, I was sitting about 155 at the end of high school my senior year in terms of body weight. Uh, I'd never really even seen a gym for the most part, but then I went to college, wasn't planning on really doing any other sports. So I kind of picked up lifting as a fitness, like a fitness hobby, some do say shape. And that's kind of what started it. I got really into it at that point. And then by the end of my freshman year, I gained 30 pounds, a lot of a lot of it from uh, delivery pizza, so, but hopefully a little bit from muscle too. And that's kind of what started out overall, and then since then I've been pretty consistent, I've stuck with it, I've really enjoyed it. It's something where I can set long-term goals for myself and then watch myself slowly attain those over time, so I think that's why I really, really like uh, lifting for the most part. Right on. So through the next year, what do you want to achieve? What's your goals? What are you looking for right now? Oh, geez, I don't know. The big, big long-term goals, I'd like a, I'd like a five-plate squat, I'd like to hit 405 on bench, um, but yeah, you know, like I said, and I, I have such a big passion for fitness that uh, I, I always have people ask me what, what they can do to, to improve their physique, what they can do to improve their strength, you know, what they can do for their diet, so I think that's kind of why Nate and I started this whole thing, and you know, we have a lot of information that we've learned over these past seven, eight 12 years from date probably that we could that we could share with you guys and so that's definitely kind of our overall goal especially my goal too is I, I want to give away all this information to you guys that I have awesome right on well that's it for today's episode definitely more episodes coming at you uh, if you want to know more if you guys want to know something about us please let us know comment in the comment section below subscribe smash that like button for us um, a huge shout out to PRC here 
hell of Iowa. Um, they let us come in here. They let us lift. It's such an awesome gym. I can tell from personal experience. I live in Des Moines. This gym competes with a lot of the gyms in Des Moines. Within an hour radius of here, it is the best gym, hands down. So if you're in the area, you want a good place to do CrossFit, you want a good place to do bodybuilding, cardio, shoot hips, come to this place that has it all. If you're a yoga chick, go do some yoga here. It has everything you want. Awesome atmosphere, great place. Uh, but yeah, that's it for today, and we'll see you guys next time. Bam! Where'd you go?